I'm hyperventilating. Five people are reading my book right now. This is the first time in my life that I've ever shared a full finished manuscript with anybody. So I gave the first book I've ever completed writing to readers so that they can give me feedback and it has been a doozy. Now, the first thing that I am completely remiss about is that I really didn't think that it would be a big deal if I didn't send a copy of it that was like fully grammarly checked. Mind was like, that's too much work. It's so intensive. I just want to get it out. I'm super excited. Let's do this. Let's just get it in the hands of people to read it so I can fix up whatever I need to fix up. And it's probably not that bad. Not even thinking through the fact that Scrivener doesn't really show me my grammatical mistakes. Especially because the way that my scattered mind kind of works sometimes is I've got some sentences that are literally half of a sentence. Like I think I was going to write a totally different sentence and I don't know what happened. I guess I just changed my mind and forgot about it and moved on to some other chapter to rewrite. But that's why I needed my readers to be able to see that there were a lot of things that I still didn't think through. So I'm using my resources and hopefully this video here will kind of give you a little bit of an insight into what I've had to go through. Okay, so I went online and I tried to find out how in the world I can get Scrivener to really like do its thing with grammar. That way I don't have to go through this whole mess where I felt totally embarrassed about giving copy with tons of grammar mistakes. Because I know that I'm not great at grammar. I know that I can't catch these things. And I know that it's probably gonna mess up all of the reading that they're doing. It's gonna distract. I went online and I found out that Scrivener actually does have grammar checker, but it feels really archaic to me. I, it didn't help me. I have a lot of stuff in the manuscript that I feel that it, it didn't catch. So I know that I only tried it just like for a few minutes, but I wasn't happy with it immediately. So I went online onto Reddit, of course, and I found a post from some angel saying that there is a way to actually set up Grammarly for your Scrivener project. So I'm gonna try that right now and let's let's see how this goes. This is gonna be super simple. Go to product on the menu, desktop download, get Grammarly, it's free, click there. Sign up with an account that you've already got with Grammarly or with a new account through Google. If you're doing a new account, it's gonna ask you a little bit about yourself or easy questions just to make their product a little bit better for your functionality. If you don't wanna pay for premium, go with the free, continue to Grammarly. Download it for the specifications you want. I chose Mac only, I've already got it on Safari. Double click the download for Mac. Okay guys, I finally updated my computer and put Grammarly on the desktop just as the post tells me to do. And I already love it. Let's look at it together because it is exactly what I wanted it to be. It shows me everything that I need to change, all the words that I needed to get rid of or I had double of or the spaces in which I look. Basically, I love it. Ended up putting Grammarly for the desktop on my laptop and opening up my Scrivener project to see exactly how it works. Followed everything that the post tells me to do. Super easy. Honestly, I love how it worked out. It's super easy once you click into your project and you're in the desktop for Grammarly. It gives you all the suggestions as it would in the document or on your browser by highlighting them actually in my document in Scrivener. So I'm already loving it. Now I hate to bring up such a sensitive tangent, but technically Grammarly is AI. It is understanding our language. It is actually taking into account what we're trying to say and it is finding us useful ways to actually make sure that we are getting um, the syntax correct and you can see that because it's got these little bars there that says correctness clarity um, engagement and delivery so it's just it's just really interesting way that we've been using ai and didn't even know it as a tool, uh, especially for my neurodivergent peoples out there. This app that is being utilized in tandem with something that we already have is fantastic. 
it's just one way that I think AI is positive that we don't get to see every day or we don't really realize because I didn't even realize that it was an AI until recently. Basically, I'm just really excited that Grammarly is gonna be able to function together with something that I'm already using so I can breathe easy now.